everyone, welcome back. So I have a Dollar Tree haul and a Bath & Body Works haul. I'm not sure if I want to do the Bath & Body Works with the Dollar Tree because a lot of people don't like that, but I just, I feel like the Dollar Tree haul was not as much as like my Bath & Body Works. So I'm just going to do the Dollar Tree haul first and then the Bath & Body Works. Okay, so my total, I don't even know how much it was. It was uh, $13. So I bought a couple things. Um, I showed you guys that I bought this kind of like this uh, dry mat for your dishes. I found the like sea one, like with all like the sea critter, critters, critters, the sea critters. So I found this one like with palm trees and like these palm leaves and stuff. So I just picked up two. These were the only two that they had left, like no more patterns, no more, just these two. So I picked up two because I really do like those, and then I want to throw those out until I can find more. Okay, so I did find some new things, and I was so freaking pumped. So, this is not new, but Destiny needs this for this upcoming Monday. Um, she has a play recital, and um, they need to wear these with their like closed shoes and stuff, because I asked if she wanted pantyhose, and she said that the music teacher said no pantyhose, so I got her these, and these are pretty good. She wears these a lot with like flats and like her slip-on sneakers, like the ones that from Gap that my brother gets her, or like Toms or any kind of like that. So I just grabbed in white because her shoe is white itself. So I, you know, I thought white. I don't know. I thought white would be good. Okay. So I found some of these. I've I have a couple already, not the sa exact same color, but they I personally feel like they don't really work, but this one gives you a little bit more like directions, not the other ones just said like put through coat like put the like the paint color on the comb and then like brush your hair and like let it dry and then to rinse it off you need soap and hot water. Well, Delia would take a shower or Destiny would take a shower and it was like this, gone. So this one, it says use comb um, fingers, like, you know, the, the comb fingers and like run it through your hair. It says to quick dry, use a blow dryer. Once it's dry, it says brush to even out color. And then it says um, uh, soap and shampoo to remove. So this one gives you a little bit more instruction and I got this baby pink one. And I feel like if the girl's hair was like a little bit like this, it would come out a little bit better. But their ends of their hair are lighter, so I just grabbed that one. I got this lavender one as well. And you guys, these make perfect stocking stuffers for like girls that are like 9, 10, 11 years old, you know. Even for older girls, I think these would be perfect because, you know, it's something fun. It's not permanent. Um, you're just like playing around with stuff. So we got the lavender one, and then we got the teal one. So, I don't know. We're just going to give those a try. So, I seen these. Um, she was just putting these out, and I was like, ooh, these look so cute. They make good stocking stuffers for Christmas, Easter, teacher gifts, you know, back to school gifts for the kids and the teachers. So, they're like these little cute pocket backs. I never get pocket bags or like hand sanitizers from the Dollar Tree because some of the scents like completely suck and I just prefer Bath and Body Works um, ones. But I got this um, green, green, candy apple scented one and they really, they smell really good. This smells like, that's what I said green apple because that's what it looked like to me even though it's like covered in caramel but it smells like a green apple. So I got that one and like the detailing is like so stinking cute. So it's just like really cute and perfect just to throw on. This one is a marshmallow scented one. This one smells like straight up alcohol. Like there's no marshmallowy scent or like, I don't know, smoky scent. But the detailing, like the packaging is so stinking cute. And like look at the detailing. Like that's so, it's so cute. And then this one is cup, uh, a cupcake one, cupcake scented. Um, ugh. with this one I smell a little bit like a frosting. So, but it's the packaging right there, and then that's the detailing on the side. So they're stinking cute. So these are the only three new ones that I found that I picked them up because I thought they were so cute. Okay, 
So, how funny. Yesterday I was on my Facebook, um, and I follow like a Facebook group for Dollar Tree stuff, and someone posted this, and I told Destiny, I was like, we need to find that. And I found it, and I was like, oh my God. So, it says, uh, one and only, like, speed style. It says, this one is a dry, texturizing spray I seen someone posted this exact same thing and it goes for like a hundred and sixty something dollars like that is ridiculous so I found the the texturizing spray I found the uh, the quick blow dry conditioner as well and the quick blow dry shampoo like I found all three of these products if there are any like I don't really blow dry like blow out my hair but when I do straighten it in the winter time um I don't know if I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out and if I really do like it now that it's out at the Dollar Tree I'm gonna stock up because this right here you can make like a really cute um like Christmas gift, you know, and get that person like, believe it or not, um, TJ Maxx always has like hair products like on clearance, like their, their rollers or their hair blowers or like the dryer, like just so many crazy things. So that would be a really cute, inexpensive gift. The most expensive gift would be the blower or the thing if you find it for like 20 or, you know, whatever amount. And then the next thing I found was this. I don't know. I just, this looked I don't know it just looked really good um, I've never seen this one I've only seen like the smaller pink ones and this one is like I don't know I don't know it just looked really really interesting so I grabbed a, that and then I think I am going to do a separate haul with the Bath and Body Works stuff because I don't really want to like mix all that kind of thing Thank you to everyone that has been like supporting me so far. I got a bad comment yesterday, like someone said that I talk too much. And then when I don't talk enough, you guys, like, or not you guys in general, but like certain people get upset. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry I'm not as perfect as you guys want me to be, but I'm trying my best. So thank you to everyone. And if you guys want to follow me on my social media links, I have an Instagram that I am most like vibrant and like pop in and like I'm on that like 24 seven. Like I use that more than I do Snapchat. Like I tend to forget to use Snapchat, if that makes any sense. Like I like just, I don't really use Snapchat unless if like people message me. And if you do message me on Snapchat, I kind of like add you automatically and I know who you are from like the names. Trust me, when people comment, you can see the names repeatedly and you're like, oh, I know who that is. Or if I see you on Instagram, I'm like, oh, I know who that person is. So yeah, just follow me on Instagram. And like I said before, if I don't accept you right away, just send me a, like a direct message and tell me, hey, you know, I'm from your YouTube channel. So just add me. And a lot of you guys can testify that I have done that. And I try to communicate a lot with a lot, like a lot of you guys on Instagram. Um, on YouTube, it's a little bit harder for me because when I see the messages, either A, it's like really, really, really early or it's like really late. And I don't want to bug anybody. But I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.